What's good with YouTube? You already know, Big Flocka with the convex perspective, and I'm smashing, dashing, sliding on through with a whole lot of energy. Please hit that like, subscribe, comment, do all those things to help support this channel, and hit that bell notification for future fire content. Now, this video right here is not to promote violence, it's not to encourage it, but to just show you what the reality is of life in prison, and what some inmates may be subject to have to do to defend themselves. Now, this is the first that I know of that's ever been shown on YouTube, and it's going to be the sh be pictures and videos of actual knives that have been made. Um, you know, this one right here is going to really trip you guys out a little bit, man, because, uh, like I said, man, um, these are actually fucking knives that were made at different facilities, level four, level threes, SMY, active yards. Like I said, there's going to be a whole lot of, of weapons you're about to see, and this is how dangerous it can be, man. At the same time, that's how life sometimes is in prison, man. So you got to understand that a lot of times people don't want to have to live like that or use a weapon. Then you got some people that take joy and they love using these weapons, man. Here we go, though. Look at that. That right there is a very, very nice metal piece. And that'll do a lot of damage, man. These are the type of weapons that are being used that could really easily take someone's life really quick, man. Sometimes you got to do what you got to do in those environments, though. You know, with the new reintegration, with the way administrations play games, putting certain individuals on yards, knowing that the consequences and repercussions are going to be coming, right? A lot of these dudes are put in positions to where they have to have something and manufacture it to safeguard themselves, man. Here's going to go. You're going to see a bunch of pictures of different pieces along the ways. And you're going to see, like I said, man, there's different things you could use for a hand, handle. You're going to see fucking, you know, bandanas, um, string, all kinds of different things. You want something that's going to give you a, basically a good grip so you can hold that piece because the worst thing you could have happen is get knocked out with a piece in your hand and have them use that fucking piece to put it, put it up in you, man. And trust me, it's happened before. I've heard of stories where OGs have had their knives tied to their hands or wrists. Therefore, if anything happens, they don't lose it. That's a pretty nice one right there, man. Look at that. That's about, shoot, maybe four inches of steel, possibly. You know, um, yeah, when the, knife, the knife has to always be bigger than the handle. That's that's without fucking going, man. And Because otherwise, if, if it's any different, it's not going to be as effective. Or, um, you know, like I said, man, some people wear certain items to secure themselves, extra clothing, um, you know what I'm saying? I, I haven't seen anybody ever put like National Geographic magazines or anything like that, but I heard back in the days that would be a common thing for them to do. I'm going to let you guys enjoy the rest of this video, man. Check out these pieces. There's not much I can add, man, but like I said, man, this is the environments that you step into if you go to prison. And for the young kids out there, man, that are on the fence, that are young, I think it's cool to be out there doing the things you're doing, man. Rethink your choices, man, because a lot of these men. They're savages. They're beasts in there. Some are straight fucking sociopaths, psychopaths. But there's a lot of dudes that are still with the action, but would not want their own kids there, man. Or they don't even want you there, man. So rethink your choices before you make them. 